Hello and welcome to another video. Today we're going to take a quick look on the Asus ROG Maximus Z690 Hero Gaming Motherboard. And let me quick check this motherboard out because I don't have a lot of space where I am right now to support. Well, let's take a look and let's start from the top. The power design for, this, for the VAM is a 20 plus 1 configuration, so that means 20 for the CPU and 1 for the iGPU. And what do we else have in the top? We have the two 8-pin power connectors, we have four um, fan connectors, we have a post LED debug, de debugging tool, so that's nice. We have a start and reset button, and this is memory OK button, I guess, to re reset the memory timers. Yeah, it probably do. And we have an RTP connector. We have, of course, the four uh, DIMMs for the RAM. We have a 24-pin power connector, and we have one additional 6-pin connector. I'm not 100% sure what that is for, but I guess it's for the PCI slots. And we have two USB-C front connectors. That is nice to see. We have six SATA ports in the button we have. The audio, we have one fan header more, three pin fan header actually, obviously for a water pump. And then we have four additional fan headers. So if we have four, and we have eight fan headers total. And then we have three more uh, RTP connectors. So that is four RTP connectors total, and eight fan headers, and one water pump. That is quite nice. And of course we have three PCI slots. Two of them, this two, is PCI Gen 5, so that is quite surprising to see. And then under the heatsink we have support for I think is four or five into two slots. I'm not 100% sure. I will correct myself if, I, if I'm wrong. And why didn't I buy the Z790 over this Z690 motherboard? Well, the biggest thing, the price. This board was costing me 500 euros, and the Z790 is costing 610 euros. And on top of that, I was actually getting a 75 euros gift card uh, when I bought this motherboard. So that means I actually used the gift card to buy my, my RAM. So that is a pretty good deal, in my opinion. So with the, the discount and uh, the gift card, this uh, motherboard was actually only about 425 euros. So that is actually the main reason why I bought this and not paying over 600 euros for the Z790 for more M.2 lanes and officially higher DDR5 memory support. And I just forgot to tell you about two things and I realized that after I actually finished the video. So let's just do it quick. Well, the start, two of the motherboard were actually coming with an M.2 PCI expansion card. This supports one 5.0 M.2 and one 4.0. So if you actually put this in the middle slot, you will get the support of one, one 5.0 M.2. So that is quite nice. The second thing is, if you didn't uh, heard about it, I think the H2 Center was talking about it at some point. This motherboard has or had a problem in, in quality control at some point. So if this SMD up here was backwards, so the text was upside down, uh, it was only a matter of time before the motherboard would die, or in worst case actually be a fire hazard. So I'm glad to see that this isn't the case, and I can just enjoy the motherboard as it, as it is. The last thing we need to talk about is the I.O. Because this motherboard have a lot of I.O. We have your audio in and out, your optic for sound, your Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.3, I think it is. And then you have your 6 3.0. Gen 2 by 2 USB uh, port or whatever the name is now. We're gonna change it all the time. We have one USB-C, 
that is 20 gigabit. Then we have two Thunderbolts, that is 40 gigabit. We have two USB 2.0, one for the bias and just one normal 2.0. Then we have a two and a half gig Ethernet, HDMI for the ITPU, a bias update button and a clear C C++ button. <laughs> we also have the PCI release button. This is actually improved version from the other Z690 ASUS motherboard I tested with Strix one. This one is a lot better. A lot better than the old one. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next video.